In this training tutorial, we'll give an overview of the T-Navigator tools for assisted history matching of Amazon Cloud. We'll build your own cluster of Amazon Cloud, upload model, do assisted history matching on unlimited number of nodes, and then download the results. The advantages that you have using T-Navigator on the cloud are no need to pay and support your own cluster, and no need for expensive office cooling equipment. T-Navigator Cloud pay-per-use covers both hardware and software costs. Use the hardware and T-Navigator license only when you need it for projects. Worldwide availability and scalability through Amazon Web Services, completely isolated instances for each customer. How it works. First, sign up on Amazon Cloud. Build your own private cluster. Upload a simulation model. Run assisted history matching for it. Download results. So you can get your work done in a very short time and for a price that still makes your project viable. Well, let's start. Connect to the cluster system that is geographically closest to you. I'm connecting to the Irish Cloud system. To sign up, enter your details. Then you'll receive an email with the link to set the login password. Enter and confirm your password. Now you're ready to start work. We are at My RFD Dashboard. Here, we can upload models and then request for a cloud cluster. We call Cloud System with Calculation Nodes Application Stack. You only pay for the calculation time when the application stack is running. Let's start with the overview how to upload and download data and then run the application stack. First option, there is the S3 bracket to save your data. S3 Upload and Download does not require a running application stack. Uploaded data will not be delayed and can be used many times. In this case, data transfers directly from the client to S3. Transfer rate between a running application stack and the S3 bucket is about 4.2 GB per minute. Second option is to upload or download data directly to application stack when it is running. This is appropriate for small files that are not meant to be reused multiple times. Go to Data Transfer, S3 Upload, and select a zip file to upload. Wait until the model is uploaded. Now I can create the application stack to run my model. Go to Add Stack and enter your details. Define the compute resources you want to have what type of cluster to use, on-demand, guaranteed to get the cluster size. The initial cluster size and maximum size. I choose from 4 to 16 nodes. The node number between initial and maximum size will be initiated dynamically depending on number of jobs in the queue. Choose your computer node type. For default, one node has 32 cores. Choose shared volume size depending on the model size with results folder that you expect. Press Submit. In My Stacks, see Status. In Progress. Wait about half an hour for application stack initialization. Press Refresh to update the status. Press on the stack name when it is ready. You are at the application stack now. For the first time, go to Downloads and install DCV EndStation. Then we can restore our data from S3 system. Or upload the model directly to application stack. Go to Services, T Navigator Desktop, and set Display Resolution. Press Submit. Run T Navigator on the desktop. Open the model that you have previously uploaded. First, I want to convert relative permeabilities to Cori correlation to use endpoints as variables in the assisted history matching process. Document, approximate RP. Convert to Cori Correlation, create Cori Keywords. Now run the simulation. 
Enjoy real-time visualization of the maps and graphics. For this case, we can see that the calculated liquid production is matched the historical, but we need to match oil and water rate. Any variables and formulas can be used for assisted history matching in T-Navigator in the data files. I'll demonstrate typical scenarios that can be created from the graphical interface. Press Document, Start History Matching. Choose Variables. For relative permeabilities, I choose Endpoints. In two saturation regions, I select Critical Water Saturation and KROW. Let's add variables. Permeability Multipliers in Regions and use fault transmissibility multipliers for several faults. Press Create History Matching Project. Set minimum and maximum values for your variables. Remember to check that you enter numbers that are physically correct. There are different algorithms that can be used for assisted history matching. Experimental Design, Grid Search, Latin Hypercube, Tornado. Optimization Algorithms, Different Evolution, Simplex Method, and Particle Swarm Optimization. For this instance, I'm going to use Particle Swarm Optimization. Define the objective function to minimize. For my case, I choose to minimize oil and water production rate mismatch for all wells. Press OK. Now, in calculations, we see the job queue of model variants. Four are calculated at one time on different nodes. At Application Stack Board, we can go to Monitor. In Hosts, we can see the occupied nodes. Now, let's see the calculation process. Go to Results folder to analyze calculation results. Model variants appear here when they are calculated. We switch to Graphs tab to analyze the whole picture. As a black dotted line, we see historical graphs. Color curves are graphs for model variants. Put the mouse on the curve to see the number of model variants. Switch between graph for groups, wells, rates, totals, bottom hole pressure, water cut, and so on. In Model Variable tab, we can see the value of each variable for each variant. Now, we can see that eight nodes are calculating our variants in the Model Queue and in Hosts Monitor section. So we now have more results to analyze. In Analysis tab, we can see if there is an effect of changing our variables. Pearson correlation and tornado diagrams can be calculated. On the left, there are variables. Then we have column with functions, objective function, oil rate mismatch, water rate, and so on. The longer the color bar, the more effective this variable has on our function. Green color means positive correlation. Blue color means a negative correlation. We can sort the column to see on the top variables that affect more on our function. We can see that the biggest effect gives relative permeability endpoints. The transmissibility multipliers gives a small effect, so we may not use them if we decide to create a new experiment for this model. In the stacked plot, we can analyze the input of each object to objective function. Choose objects in resolve intro. The different colors indicate the contribution of our wells to objective functions. The more contribution, the inferior history match we have for all this well. For example, we can see here with the red color, well 4 has quite a big contribution. So we need to focus more on the area with this well. For example, we can introduce a new variable, permeability multiplier near to it. Switch to components to see the investment of oil and water rate mismatched to objective function. Now, 14 nodes are calculated our variant simultaneously. To see the effectiveness of our algorithm, go to Crossplot. On Y axis, we see mismatch. Experiment Objective Function. On x-axis, Variant Number. The points are model variants. The lower the point, the better the variant in terms of history matching. So we can see how algorithm minimizes objective function. 
Go to Mismatch Table and sort the column Experiment Objective Function. And we can see the best variant on the top. We can see variables, values for it. And we can press right mouse click on its name to open it. Go to Graphs and see that we have a very good history match now. If we want to download calculation results, we need to put them into a separate folder. On Application Stack Board, go to Data Transfer and choose Backup to S3. Then, in the dashboard, we can use S3 Download. We can stop calculations at any time. Go to Project Info and use Stop Experiment button. At the end of work, don't forget to delete your stack. Go to Dashboard, My Stacks, press on an arrow on the right of your application stack and select Delete. At this moment, you stop paying for CPU usage of your cloud cluster. Thank you for your attention. Enjoy working with T-Navigator and unlimited number of nodes on Amazon Cloud.